Stan Jabalisco here with a little explanation of an oscillator known as a Pierce crystal oscillator circuit. Uh, it is a fixed frequency oscillator, the frequency determined by this quartz crystal right here. Um, a viewer has asked uh, what sort of component values should these uh, capacitors and resistors have to work at about 10 megahertz um, short wave or ham radio frequency. Ham radio operators, by the way, do have a band at 10 megahertz, so you'd use a 10 megahertz crystal, of course. These uh, capacitors should be on the order this one right here, this one right here, and that one right here on the order of 50 picofarads or thereabouts, whereas this bypass capacitor could be about 0.01 microfarads. Now as for this resistor right here, the source resistor in this field effect transistor circuit, an end channel junction field effect transistor, about 470 ohms, something along the lines of 330 to 1000 ohms, anywhere in that general vicinity, should work just fine. This should be about 100 kilobes, contrary-wise. As for this resistor right here, you would probably want to make it rather small so that you could have a pretty close to a ground situation here for the crystal, providing some, uh, some uh, uh, impetus for it to oscillate. I would suggest a few hundred ohms. Now these are all ballpark figures just to start with and I can't guarantee that, th that they'll work right off the bat. Any uh, experimenter has to do some tweaking and testing in order to figure out exactly what the component value should be. But again, a few picofarads here, maybe 50 picofarads, 0.01 microfarads here, about 400 to 500 ohms here, a low resistance here, maybe 400 to 500 ohms, but a high resistance here, uh, 100 kilo ohms, uh, so that you get a good bias on this device. So that would be my suggestion to start with. And then if you're so predisposed once you get the thing to oscillate, you can put a, uh, a Morse code key right in the line. I'd put it right here. In, uh, between this uh, source resistor and ground and you can use it as a little crystal controlled milliwatt transmitter and that's all this is going to produce by the way is a few milliwatts of power. Stan Jibalisco, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV and author of Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics signing off and saying so long for now.